What's up guys, Duckfin Gaming here, and we're going to finally do the video review for Skyrim. Now this game is amazing. The main menu, when it loads up, you're just like, oh yes, you know you're about to play something really epic. And you can only really like uh, do the credits, load a game, continue and do a new game. There's no multiplayer, but it does not hurt the game at all. Though I will say, for the Xbox 360, the load times are dreadful. They can really kill you when it's loading. It's a lot faster on a PC if you can actually have a PC that run it. Although I don't, so I'm really thankful I can actually play it on an Xbox at all. This game, though, is amazing. I mean, just not even doing any missions, just wandering around the town, looking up in the sky, seeing the beautiful colors, the beautiful landscape, the flowers, the trees, the design. Everything about this game is visually stunning. And if you're playing this in anything less than HD, you're really not giving this game justice. And even right now, I'm not even giving it justice by showing it to you in this footage. There's my little kitty guy of awesome custom-made armor that I made myself personally. Their creative character is pretty damn great. You get to choose from classes such as humans, kitties, orgs, lizard people. I don't know their real names, but those are like the classes idea. And the game starts off an amazing, wild, crazy intro. But I'm not going to really show any of that. If you want to see spoiler stuff, I have the uh, first 20 minutes of the game posted on my website. I have a lot of Skyrim footage if you want to see it. Go to my page and check it out. But this is my video review where I will be kissing this game's ass the entire time and just trying to tell you as much information as I possibly can. There is tons of wildlife out here to fight. There's tons of missions that go on forever. You could probably beat the main mission in seven hours, but you could probably put over a hundred hours just doing every single mission in the game. And every single mission in this game is just as good as the main mission. The menus are great, and you're a dragonborn, so you get shouts. Such shouts as call your own personal dragon by the end of the main mission to fire breath, to slow down time, to anything in between. Shouts are what you get when you fight dragons and kill them and collect their soul. And um, I didn't show any dragon fights on here, but they are simply amazing. Like this is a shout, for instance, that makes it stormy weather, which looks really amazing. This game visually is stunning. And the controls are really just flawless. I absolutely love the controls. You can dual wield magic. You can dual weapons. You can just do almost anything that you can imagine. It's really amazing. You can double dual wield magic fire that lights up the entire area. And it's just you have your little quick favorite bar on the side here. So you can just pop it up at any time and pick up your favorites and save them. And it's just, it's just an amazing game. It is game of the year for 2011. And I'll probably be playing it way into 2012. I've already beat the main story and I've already put 50 hours into it. And I'm sure I'll put 50 more hours into it. This game is simply amazing. From just walking down the street and seeing some random people and starting a fight to going on a huge, long five-hour quest for the Brotherhood and just, just being amazed by the story and what unfolds in just normal day activities. You can walk into a town and talk to a bartender who will lead you on a mission that will take you 10 hours to get all the way through. And that's the amazingness of Skyrim. So um, we're going to move on to this whole scene instead of me having to fight these guys. But um, like I said, you get like different kind of shouts and they're really unique. By the time you beat the uh, actual story mode, you get a shout that you can call your own personal dragon to come in and help you. To come in and guide you. Although I will be honest, he doesn't help that much. But the power to actually call on a dragon that flies around and watches over you is an amazing feature. It's just insane all the kick-ass shouts you can do. And that's one of the main new features on this game compared to such games as Oblivion. But um, compared to Oblivion and Skyrim, this game has made huge like milestone effects. They're just insane. That's my dragon. He's killing a really simple creature in the water, but he is amazing. He is badass. And this game is simply amazing. And um, I'm going to give my verdict early. This is the first time I ever gave a 10 out of 10. This game gets a 10 out of 10. The only thing that really slacks in this game, what was it? I did have something in mind. I mean, it does have low low loading times. It can be really annoying at times. And there are some like bugs now and again. And uh, it's really just nitpicky stuff that I would pick out of the game. This game is almost flawless. So it gives it a 10 out of 10 no matter what. This is how you upgrade your character. You have upgrade trees that give you different perks every time you upgrade. And it goes off what you do. Say if you... Um, 
if you're really good at lock picking, you'll level that up. If you use a lot of one-handed armor, you'll level that up. So if you just use something that's two hands all the time, it'll level that up. It goes by what you want to level up. Whatever you do, it will level up as you go along. And that's how the game progresses. And um, there is no overpowered feel to it. Like uh, every level you go up, the game goes up levels with you. So you go inside a dungeon on level 23, it'll they'll dungeon will be set to level 23 and the monsters will be that strong and the map is huge I actually think the map could be bigger I wish it was a little bit bigger but the map is really 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 big and it's beautiful and as you can see we're in that same city that we start off in my dragons flying around but now the clouds are out instead of the beautiful colors in the sky it looks totally different all the mountains in the background you can go to all of those and eventually make it to the very peak of them and there's just so much in this game like it's it's really a hard game to explain if you know what I mean I mean it's a game that you can almost do anything you want to become an assassin and just go around killing people you want to get epic armor like this Draco armor that I have or do you want to just walk around butt naked in your lawn johns <laughs> this game is simply amazing I just really can't stress enough the fact that you could just hide behind a rock get out your bow and shoot some right right in the face and just have them boom dead is just simply amazing and then you get caught you flee out of there on your horse and um, it's also a lot better when you kill someone you aren't wanted in every city you're only wanted in the city that you killed them in you have to like pay a bounty and if you want you can actually go to jail and you can escape jail and get all your stuff back I haven't actually done that but I know you can but riding horses are awesome I got this horse from joining the Dark Brotherhood which are amazing missions which seriously left my jaw like hit the ground halfway through these missions they're like insane so you definitely have horses, but I like personally walking around more than like riding horses. It's so just breathtaking to walk around this beautiful countryside of Skyrim and just HD and just watch what unfolds. Anything from a random dragon visit, a random dragon fight, to fighting giants, to fighting mammoths, to just getting pickpocketed by a loser and just totally destroying him. This game is fantastic. And like I said, from getting pickpocketed by a loser, but no, this guy isn't a pickpocket guy, he's just a normal kitty. But you can start shooting anyone, just shoot him in the face. The arrow just stays in his nose. Your horse sit there and beats the hell out of him, pretty much distracts him while you just nuke him with your bow and arrow. It's this randomness and this freedom to do whatever you want, whether it is to kill this guy or to help him, to give him money, to do missions for him, to rob him, to do whatever you want. That's the joy of this game. That's the fun in Skyrim, is the freedom to have an open world game and to do what you like. <laughs> um, a few things that aren't in the game, there aren't vehicles of course, this is set in olden times, there aren't any type of guns, but you have epic magic, so why do you need guns when you can shoot flames out your, out your hands? When you can shoot lightning bolts out your hands like you're on Star Wars, when you can like spawn dragons and just mythical creatures and myth mythical ghosts to come and protect you. I mean, this game is just fantastic. Not only that, you can just rob people blind, you can take what you want from them, you can leave them completely naked and pick up their dead bodies and pick up all the items in the entire game and move them and steal them and just customize your houses to how you like, buy houses, you can get married, although I will say, getting married is very, very slacking. Your wife says the same exact stuff, you can hardly really talk to her that much and you can't have sex it's really slacking but at least it's there it's a nice little thing I think they just threw in and uh, right there as you see I spawned this awesome assassin ghost to help me fight help me battle I mean it's just you can almost do anything in this game it's just insane to climbing that mountain to the very top to going to this fort and killing everybody there to just anything it's just it's just insane and it's really hard to explain this game but um, the best way to explain it is to say this is the best game that came out all year. I mean, screw Modern Warfare, screw Battlefield, screw St. Rose the Third. I've played all those games, and they lasted a good 10, 15 hours. But I've put 50 hours in this game, and I still don't want to stop playing. It's got to the point where I'm sad that I've beaten so much. To the point where I'm, I'm nervous that I'm, I'm, I want to restart and do a new game because I don't want this to ever end. Like, I love this game so freaking much. I mean, I can't help it. Like, I put 50 hours into it, and I guarantee I'll put 50 more into this, and after that, I'll probably make a new game, a new character, and put another 50 hours into that game. 
I'm just saying that's how epic this game is. And as you can see, I just walked into this hut and there's a whole bunch of bandits here because this is like an abandoned, destroyed village type thing. And I'm just kicking their ass. Anything from using my mage, using my powers to heal myself while they chop me. Anything from just using a shout, which I'm about to do, to make him go flying. And uh, the blood effects also look simply amazing. If uh, you hire up some perks, you can like blow off their heads with a few strikes. And it's just, it's just so amazing. I can't help but to say it's epic and amazing. These are the words that come to mind when you think Skyrim. I mean, I know Modern Warfare and Battlefield stuff sell millions and millions and millions and games like this go underneath the wire when it comes to that but this game has been selling fantastic and I would be very surprised if it did not get game of the year every single Bethesda game like this gets game of the year these are the make makers of Fallout 3 which is fantastic game and like Fallout New Vegas all fantastic games but this is beyond those games this game goes on for so much longer than they do as for missions as you see here I just have tons and tons of missions just waiting for me to do and I have done tons and tons of missions you can just select them all go to your map and there'll just be tons of locations to go anywhere on this entire map and just go do any mission anything from assassinating someone to killing the Emperor to chopping wood to finding a missing kid and they're all pretty epic and they all have voice talking they all talk to you they all have face expressions they all have different voices with different accents it's really quite amazing and do you see this werewolf this is kind of a little bit of spoilers but you can turn into a freaking werewolf if you want to you can literally turn into a werewolf and just go on a straight up killing spree on everyone you can also be vampires which i haven't done yet but I probably will just try it out eventually. But it's just amazing the amount of stuff you can do in this game. And the amount of just whatever you want to do. You want to go make some potions? You can go make some potions. You want to go make some sick ass armor? You want to just go beat the hell out of somebody as a werewolf and chomp their face off with blood and gore and guts everywhere? You can. I mean, like, I can say so much about this game, but I will never say enough. It's that good. I mean, look right now, I'm a friggin' vampire fighting this mage guy and the horse got my back whipping his ass and I'm just yelling at him with a roar that makes him run away and then I pound on him and beat the living shit out of him. I mean, it's crazy. I, I go from just walking around, riding a horse, to just looking around at beautiful nighttime skies, to turning into a werewolf and eating people. <laughs> That's what I mean in Skyrim. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you might find a few things you can't do, like shoot guns and drive cars, or I guess really fly around. That's one thing I wish you could do. I wish you could take a dragon and fly around with the dragon, but hey, we might have some DLC for that. Who knows? So you can do anything from going in this city and just terrorizing everyone as a werewolf and killing them, from enjoying them and liking them and doing missions for them or stealing them. You can go into every single house, but there is a load time when you go into doors. It's not quite Xbox 720 yet. But it's just, this is an amazing game. And I can't say anything less than that. Like, it's a 10 out of 10. Like, it's a 20 out of 10, if you know what I mean. Like, I can't stop kissing this game's ass. From the moment I put it in my Xbox till now, I love this game and I continuously find stuff new. And like I said, I put 50 hours into it. Like, what more can you do? But it's funny, after a while you turn back into your guy and you're like butt ass naked besides your trousers and you're like, holy shit, what happened? I just turned into a werewolf and freaked out on everybody. I got to get out of here. <laughs> so when I compare it to such games as Oblivion and Marwin, I will say I had a great time with Marwin, but I never completed the main story. Oblivion, I didn't even play that much as well. I like couldn't find myself to enjoy it, although they were fantastic games. This game is a lot different. This game is a lot better at leading you to where you need to go. I mean, I'm on the top of a freaking hill talking to a dragon right now. I'm at the highest peak in the entire game talking to a dragon. It comes to a point where I can do a shout that I can just jump down here all the way down to the bottom from the mountain and survive it, which I'm about to do now. 
But like I said, when you compare it to older Bethesda games like Marwan Oblivion, it is a huge step above all of it. I mean, I love Marwan, but I always just stay in the first or second town and just make a little home and just do a few things now and again. And then Oblivion, I'd get past the first part and I wouldn't even really find anything to do. This game, it's the complete opposite. Uh, you get like a magic spell that guides you where you need to go, so you really never get lost. You have epic map that tells you where to go. And they just did a really, really, really epic job with this. And I can't even imagine what they can do next. I mean, as you see right now, I'm using dragon shouts that make me invincible for about 10 seconds. And I am just trailing down a freaking mountain. The biggest mountain on the game. I'm just trailing down as invincible and just... just flying down it which is simply amazing so like I said the verdict is simple this game gets an infinite out of 10 it gets a 10 out of 10 10 across all bores there isn't a single thing that I can say bad about this game there's some nitpicky stuff that I could say such as like when you lay down something in your house sometimes it won't stay there but you can get stuff to stay you can deck out your entire house the marriage isn't that great you get married and that's it you can't have kids you can't have sex but these are just nitpicky stuff this game is fantastic I would recommend you go buy it now I don't care if you're a first person shooter level a puzzle level lover like anything, no matter what you love in video games, you will love this game. Go buy it right now. Don't even worry about renting it, because if you rent it, you'll get late fee charges, because you will not be wanting to return this game. This is the best game of 2011 by far. I mean, look, what did we just do in the last three minutes? We were up on the highest top of Skyrim, talking to a dragon. Now we use shouts to jump down miles and miles of mountainside, landed in a river, and now we're about to get in a fight with a random, like, I don't even know what to call him, a random snow Bigfoot guy. <laughs> it's not even a snow and he's like a normal one. But just out of nowhere, it's all this randomness and all this enjoyment and all this long ass missions that go on for for hours and hours and hundreds of hours of gameplay that you'll just enjoy from the very beginning into the very end when you beat it hundred percent and you just don't want it to stop this game is perfect it is the best game you can actually buy and it is the best game all year it is the game of the year so thank you for watching my video review rate thumbs up leave in the comments what you think about Skyrim and that's pretty much it peace